Hello and welcome to this video tutorial from ComputerGaga.com and in this video we look at how to create a distinct count using the COUNTIF function. Now a distinct count is a count of the unique values only. So in this list we have a list of pretend visitors so maybe some kind of attraction or some kind of event and what we want to know is how many unique visitors we have so we're not interested on visitors that may have returned or we are but you know that's not the <laughs> what we want from this we all know how many unique visitors do we have now Excel does not provide a function that achieves that independently so what we're going to do is use the count if function along with a, a brilliant function called sum product and together they're going to achieve this goal for us. So let me first of all let's have a look at the COUNTIF function. In cell C4 I'll start putting in COUNTIF and what we're going to ask it to do is to look at that range of names in A2 to A9 and for the criteria provide the same range of names. So we'll ask it to look for how many times each of them names occurs within the same list and I'll put a closing bracket on that. So that if we return that, it gives us a bit of a silly example, a silly result, sorry. But what we're then going to do in addition to that, building this up step by step, is I'm going to divide that answer by one. So I'm going to see one divided by the result that we're getting at that count if. Now what this will do is for each result that we've returned, so if Justin Timberlake appears once, Mariah Carey appears once, when it gets to ones like Celine Dion who appears twice, this will give us 0 0.5 and a further down 0 0.5 as we're dividing how many times she appears. Now we're then going to use some product to sum the array which should end up with the total amount of occurrences. Now I don't know how much sense this is making, it's not making a huge amount in my head right now <laughs> as I'm hearing my own words come out. So I'm going to finish this function off and maybe I can visualize it better for you. Let me put some product at the start. Brilliant functionist, definitely worth a Google, worth a look around any books or courses you have to see if they mention what else this function can do. It's pretty impressive. Check out our website, computergargard.com. got tons of examples. But this will ask you to sum an array. And here we go, it asks us what array, that is our answer. We will put our closing bracket on the end and press enter. And we have a unique count. There are one, two, three, four, five, and six. These two are repeats of Celine and Estevan. There are six unique visitors. And to demonstrate how this works, if I open that function up, and if I run this COUNTIF function independently, I'm doing that via my F9 key, that will show me the array. So that's kind of what we saw at the end, although it only demonstrated one answer, and I put it inside a cell. They are then divided by one, and this is what I was trying to talk us through before. There's the 0.5s uh, for kind of Celine Dion and 0.5s for Estefan. But then once it's returned, some product gets hold of that and sums the array. So these 0.5s, the two of them become a one, basically indicating that you know these two visitors have occurred only once. And it works absolute genius. Brilliant combination, and that is the count if function, not on its own, but certainly as a major player, at producing a distinct count for us. I hope you find this video useful. Please check out some of our other video tutorials at computergaga.com and on this YouTube channel.